One more thing that you really have to be conscious of with gas guns is your locked dwell time. So basically your locked dwell time is the time that you know your, your bolt goes into battery and you know you drop the firing pin it obviously goes through the process bullet flies down the barrel that gas goes back towards the bolt in, in the gas key obviously um, if that happens too fast so ultimately like your lock dwell time is the the casing expands yep. initially when you have the explosion taking place inside the actual brass itself um, bullet leaves the barrel gas comes back down if you don't have enough time for that that casing to shrink back down it takes a fraction of a second but basically if, if your bolt and your bolt carrier starts to move to the rear before it shrinks back down uh, you're basically gonna be ripping that casing out of the chamber so that's where you can have like massive uh, you know excess strain and stress on your extractor yeah. or worst case scenario you can rip the rim right off yeah. of a cartridge that's really actually quite common with uh you know improperly timed 308 ars so i mean like that locked dwell time is really important it's, there's got to be enough time for that bolt to completely unlock let that case shrink back down and then have it extract that casing yeah. so that's why getting that buffer weight dialed in is key i mean a lot of guys They'll have, an, they'll have an extraction issue like that, and they'll be like, oh, I need more gas to my gun. Right. They're just compounding the, the, yeah. the problem. They're making it even worse instead of just adding a little bit of weight to their buffer and their buffer spring, yeah. uh, which will slow down that whole process, and the whole gun will start to run more smoothly. So. Yeah.